All right, guys, Mikey here from Mikey's Iron Rage. Guys, Big Rammy has done it again, winning the 2021 Mr. Olympia, making it a repeat for the second time in a row. So congratulations to Big Rammy for his second Mr. Olympia win. And I got to say, I agree with him winning the whole show. And yeah, I guess he was the best one up on that stage. But you can also make an argument that the third place finisher, Hadi Chopin, could have won the whole show because in my opinion he was better than Brandon Curry who placed second so you can make a strong argument that Hadi could have placed at least second or won the whole show but I digress at least he placed top three and at least he won the most muscular award now as for Brandon Curry he was definitely at his biggest the biggest I've ever seen him, but the conditioning just wasn't there. Nick's strength and power had the nerve to say Brandon Curry looked better here than he did in 2019. Yeah, he might have been bigger here than he was in 2019, but he looked way better in 2019, especially at the 2019 Arnold Classic. That was the best Brandon Curry I've ever seen hit a bodybuilding stage. Now, as for Nick Walker and Hunter Labrada, because you had Big Rammy who placed first, you had Brandon Curry who placed second, Hadi Chopin who placed third, Hunter Labrada who placed fourth, and William um, Nick Walker who placed fifth, and I think William Bonac placed sixth. Now, Nick Walker, I think, was a little bit better than Hunter Labrada. Nick was more conditioned than Hunter was. I just think that Nick looked better than Hunter. I mean, Hunter's midsection was faded. His, he, I don't know, it was just very washed out. His midsection was washed out. His quads were washed out. Nick had more deep cuts to his physique than I think uh, uh, Nick did, um, than Hunter did. I mean, not for nothing, Nick brought it. Nick brought it, and he placed fifth. But I digress again, because I always say it, bodybuilding politics really suck. I think Hunter Labrada took the fourth spot because of his father. His father was a legend, and he still is one of the best bodybuilders to ever compete. But, but... This is the reason why I don't cover the newer bodybuilding stuff. This is the reason why, guys. Because, you know, it'll never be like the 90s or the early 2000s. I know that. But come on. It's got to be better than this. Yeah, these guys definitely look better here at the night show. They dialed it in a lot more at the night show than they did in pre-judging because that was a joke. Pre-judging was a fucking joke. I mean, even Lee Haney said that all these guys look like they have a film of water going throughout their whole physiques. And I definitely agree with that. Now, they did dial it in a little bit more from the night show. Like I said, they definitely did. And they definitely looked a lot better structurally. But I mean, come on. This was a weak lineup. I'm happy for the new up-and-coming guys like Hunter Labrada and Nick Walker. You know what I mean? Big Rammy. He's still really young too. Big Rammy's young. Brandon Curry's really young. You know, so I'm happy for these new and up and coming guys, but they still have a lot of work to do. They still have a lot, a lot of work to do to get to that, you know, elite level because this was not an elite level Mr. Olympia contest. And look up on the screen, guys. Check this out. Look at Brandon Curry's left arm. His left arm is bigger than the right arm. Look at his biceps. They just look very weird and that's because he's using oil. Look at his quads. They're all washed out. Even Big Rammy's quads are all washed out. And Big Rammy's midsection looked very weird this year, right guys? His midsection always usually looks pretty tight, but this year kind of looked a little weird. He looked like he was holding a little bit too much water in the midsection. His midsection, his torso actually looked a little bit longer than in previous years. I've noticed that with Phil Heath too. Phil Heath, I noticed that. Phil Heath's midsection, his torso some years looks longer than other years. But Big Rammy's midsection definitely looked very weird this year. Last year, Big Rammy was so much better. I mean, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you think that Big Rammy was better? Um, you know, what, what, what year do you think he was better, last year or this year? Come on, there's no competition. He was so much tighter and just so much more put together last year. And I just think he tried to come in too big because before the show even started on Friday, he came in at 290 pounds. That's fucking ridiculous. That's just too big at five foot nine, five foot ten. He should come in at 275, super ripped, and I guarantee you he would present a better looking physique than this. Look at Hottie. Hadi was definitely the best one up on that stage. I'm sorry. I know in the beginning of the video I said that Big Rammy deserved the win, but I don't know. 
I think Hadi Chopin could have won the whole show. But meanwhile, Hadi places third. Brandon Curry, like I said, was all washed out. All washed out. And he was bigger than he was, like I said, in years past. But he was all washed out. Even Big Ramy, his quads were all washed out. Nobody had deep separations to the quads. Nothing. Except for Nick Walker, I would say, Hadi Chopin, those were the two most conditioned guys on the stage. And I know I keep saying it and saying it, but it's the truth. It is the truth. But anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you agree with me? Do you guys think that this was one of the worst Mr. Olympia contests? Because I'm not hating, guys. I'm not hating. But the lineup was fucking weak. It was weak. And I would love to see these new up-and-comers in the next few years just come in and nail it. And start a whole new generation of bodybuilding. So anyways guys. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. And if you like the video. Give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet. Just tickle that Kevin Lavoni icon button. Mikey's Iron Rage. Peace out.